We are here with America's newest comic book stars, the kids of Whitney High. You might have heard their sweet sounds out there on the roads, on the radios, on the MP3 players of America. Well, they've got a brand new comic out with, with uh, stories by the band themselves and art by a terrific lineup of artists such as Robbie Rodriguez, Rafael Navarro, Ricky Niehaus, Neil Von Flew, Chuck Beebe, and our own Chris Brandt. And there's one thing that we all have in common. I think you guys know what it is. You mm -hmm. tell them. We'll tell them. Right, well, we're crazy about, crazy about comics. comics. We're here with our, our special guest, Kids of Whitney High, stars of their own comic. How does it feel, guys and girls? Cool. We're crazy about our own comics. Real, real, uh -huh. real like crazy it. about comics. Are you? You want to introduce the people? Uh, yeah. One by one? Yeah, sure. Let's, let's start with you, Lisa. Okay. Well. Uh, um, how, how, uh, how did it all go for you with the, with the Kids of Whitney High comic and the band? And anything, anything um, you want to share? Well, I didn't start singing with the band until 2001. <laughs> and uh, I I enjoyed it. I actually enjoyed it. it. This showed me a different side of me, a creative side, if you if you will. And you helped write it. Yes. And Lisa's one of the characters in this. Everybody in the band is also a character. Excuse me, is it also a character in the comic book? And I think that's pretty. That's what everybody's dream when they're young. I think. Yes. How about you, Pee Wee? Now, do you do you prefer to be called Pee Wee or Luis? It doesn't matter, sir. No? Either name works. <laughs> okay, cool. You don't, so either or, half. Either or. Tomato, tomato. Tomato, tomato, or clamato, or V8. No, V8. Yeah. No, that <laughs> so, so your story uh, is actually one of the, uh, I would say, more truish type stories. I haven't uh, got, I haven't got to, I haven't got to read, read the book, but I bet, <laughs> I'm pretty sure, it, I'm pretty sure it's, it, I'm pretty sure the truth. Yeah, you pretty sure? I'm pretty sure. Well, we when we interviewed uh, uh, Pee Wee, we, we, he was telling us about his hitchhiking journeys across country that, I guess, how often do you take these, these big trips? Probably once, uh, probably every four years. The other ones I just do by the dog or the Amtrak. Oh, okay. Wow. By the dog. Okay, cool. Good old and, dog. And you're no quite adventurous uh, just out there with the thumbs and hitchhiking. Yeah, and buddy. <laughs> I thought that was illegal in most of the United States. We used to hitchhike all the time like 20 years ago, but yeah, I haven't seen anybody hitchhiking. All you got to do, you know what, buddy? I'm I handicapped. Guess. You give me a ride to the next town and I'll figure my way out there. I'll have somebody Well, how do they know out. when your thumb is out that you're hit, handicapped? Doesn't matter. Uh, no, if the... If the you sign, maybe? He tells them when they stop. If, yeah, when, I, when I'm stopped. Yeah. When the skunks <laughs> pull me over. <laughs> All right, sir. And you've got your own movie. You've got your band. Uh -huh. You've got your comic book. What's yeah. next for you, Pee Wee? I got the comic book. I got some clothing, better bacon. I'm pretty I sure got a little line that. of perfume, maybe? Yeah, uh, yeah, coming up pretty soon. It's very exciting. <laughs> Stand up comedy night, uh, yeah, May 21st. That, yeah. that, that'll be the next goal, really. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, I can't wait to see what you think of the comic when you get a chance to read it. I know you've been really busy. So. It's very. <laughs> <laughs> Shelly, uh, Shelly Goodhope here. Now, Shelly's been with the band since the first concert I saw, anyway, back in 1999. And where, where did you see that? It was at the House of Blues. 
Um, but Shelly, your, your story is sort of a throwback to 80s action heroes. Uh, you care to share anything about your love of the 80s action heroes? For once, I love Schwarzenegger way before he became the governor. Yeah? T tell us about the movie that introduced you. I love, I saw The Terminator, and Commando, Raw Deal, Predator, The Running Man, Red Heat, Total Recall, <laughs> T2, <laughs> and True Lies. Are you naming them in order? They're in order, I think. Yeah. They're like chronologically, yeah. Wow, well, that's well, amazing. What, what was your favorite? None. I like the Terminator <laughs> with his best catchphrase, I'll be Bach. <laughs> <laughs> you ever uh, think about getting into acting, Shelly? We, I haven't had any had any plans when I'll start acting again, but I did act with Maude in a sketch comedy. It's M O with two D. Does that stand for something? How about three D? I forgot what it stands for. Is it on the internet or is it, can you find it somewhere? Or? Yeah, I'll look into that. Hulu. Well, it's my co colleagues group thing that I'm in. <laughs> uh, Jenny okay. Siegel works with me at Mattel at the DC Design okay. Center. Uh -huh. cool. Working as a contractor. Oh, nice. Now, Michael, real quick, because they're, they're, they're waving their hands. Uh, just Can you just tell us really quickly how the band came together and, and how we got to where we're sitting here tonight? <laughs> it's been a long journey. <laughs> um, <laughs> I uh, started as a songwriting class at Whitney mm -hmm. uh, in the late 80s, and uh, it just, you know, one thing led to another, where we had a CD, the first CD, and then we started going out and doing gigs and just uh, playing around town, then did another CD, and uh, the people wanted to make a movie, and uh, then um, I would say over the past f four or five years, it's sort of been a flurry of things, like um, being in the ringer, and uh, having another CD, do we got the live CD that we did lately, and um, there's a uh, a clothing line, and there's uh, two documentaries that are in the works, and so it's a lot. Did you think you, how many years have you been doing it for? Like 20 years, yeah. Now, right? Mm -hmm. Wow. Did you ever think it would be going this long? No, never. <laughs> Any regrets? Never thought it would even get started. <laughs> I was cool. surprised when it got started. Awesome. No, it's just been, it's been great. Well, uh, oh, uh, real, uh, real quick, I know you, okay, I'll be what? fast. I just, uh, you know, I, the, the first time I saw Kids at Whitney High, I was just blown away, and, and uh, guys are, are very inspirational, and I think one of the most honest rock bands out there, so uh, glad. Well, great, to, to thank you, and we want to thank you, too, for all and the work that you put in. they write their own songs, too, that's pretty yeah. nice. I really yeah. like them all, too, but we gotta, we got to wind this up oh, right now. Oh, just about to thank me. <laughs> oh. well, why don't we uh, listen to a little bit of those sweet, delicious tunes you play, and come back with more interviews with the Kids at Whitney High. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming, guys. That's too low. <laughs> I see pretty girls everywhere I go. Where? Everywhere I go. Where? Everywhere I go. Where? I see pretty girls everywhere I go. Where? Everywhere I go. Where? Everywhere I go. At the beach. At the beach. At the mall. At the mall. On the bus. On the bus. Give me a yeah. 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 Uh, no, yeah. Yeah. Once more. Yeah. Woo. I see pretty girls everywhere I go. Where? Everywhere I go. Where? Everywhere I go. Where? I see pretty girls everywhere I go. Where? Everywhere I go. Where? Everywhere I go. At the park. At the park. At my school. At, At your my school. school. In my dream. In your nightmares. In my Give me a yeah. 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 Uh, no, yeah. Yeah. Once more. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Erase lipstick, ponytail, hair get down there laughing, talking, shopping. 
jumping, walking through town. There is my dream by the soda machine. I'm moving closer, my heart's beating faster. I opened my mouth, but nothing came out. She walked away, and my heart said, Ouch! I see pretty girls everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. I see pretty girls everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. At the pool. At the pool. At the store. On TV. On the TV. Give me a yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Another yeah. Yeah. Once more. Yeah. Woo Break down. Pretty girls. Ugly girls. Sherry. Where is she? Jenny. Jessica. She's not here. I love you. She got My Charlie's the Angels. Police. And got a ticket. <laughs> Yee Break down. Break up. Y'all are gonna drive me to drink. I see pretty girls everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. I see pretty girls everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. At the zoo. At the zoo. At the pool. At the pool. In my dream. Give me a yeah. Yeah. Another yeah. Yeah. Once more. Yeah. No. Woo. Yeah. Thank you. Baby. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. We better take a break after that, boys and girls. Stick around. Jeffrey's Comics is located at 15900 Crenshaw in Gardena, directly across from El Camino College. We have over a thousand graphic novels. We have over 500 new comic titles. Our video section contains over 500 rare nostalgic DVDs, classic entertainment for all ages. This is our kids comic section. We have a large toy selection. This is our statue section. Our older comics are all great investments. We have comic books as cheap as four for a dollar, going up over thousands of dollars. At Jeffrey's, the, 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 the magic never stops. We live comics, we love comics, we are comics. That's why they call me a geek. Oh, well, comic book geek. So be it, so shall it be. The kids of Whitney High, the music that will rock your eyes. Is that right? I'm throwing the computer out the window! Hey, my teacher to throw her down the stairs! 
Steve. You're in fair with police business. <laughs> You're losing points as we speak. I'm going to kick your butt. Get your hands off of her. <laughs> Put those hands up. You go up to the principal's office. He's asleep. Got it? That, what you just like witnessed that. there, was probably one of my favorite Kids of Whitney High songs. And now we're here with the other half of the band. We're still missing some of the members, by the way, and, and let's give a shout out to, to Maddie and to uh, Kain, who couldn't be here tonight. So. But we're all sexy anyway. That's right. So, so Tony, real quick. What's we'll uh, up with Tony? Part of this, this is partly your fault, this comic book. Yes. Uh, you want to talk a little bit about that? Uh, well, the way we got to this point is... I walked into your former place of, of employment a thousand, you have years, these comics? thousand years ago. Yeah, that's the name of the place. Yeah. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> mm -hmm. the and I heard, I heard some nice sounds coming out of your boom in stereo, and I said, I know that band. Where'd you get that from? And you told me where you got it, and you told me you taped it. I taped it, yeah. I thought I was in trouble. <laughs> and I was in trouble. I just didn't know it yet, but it's okay. And you said, and I remember... I wish I could get that band to play here. And Tony is a guy who, if Van Halen is playing in town and he doesn't have tickets and the show is sold out, it doesn't matter. If Tony decides he's going to go see Van Halen, he's going to go see Van Halen. Yes, that's and, right. And uh, he, he's kind of a, he kind of makes dreams come true. Yep. And that's part of his magic. Part of my magic, besides my good looks. <laughs> now, Daniel, how you doing, sir? I'm doing fine. Thanks for inviting me. Oh, thanks for coming down tonight, and thank you for, for you, you know, your very thought-provoking story in the Kids of Whitney High comic. Uh, you want to talk a little bit about that? Sure. You know, I always wanted to do a realistic sort of writing, and um, I've been blogging for a year and a half, but I've never done a comic, so I was wondering, you know, when we first started this, how do you begin to write something like this? And... Uh, one of the guys that was helping me said, you, you have to write a story, and that's about it. So that's what I did. I wrote a story based on what was happening in today's society, and uh, one of the guys took some footage from a couple of videos that I did on YouTube and uh, some of the posts uh, that I have uh, blogged about. <coughs> there, there are some posts on my blog, mm -hmm. and that's how it all got started, and that's how it became a... A story that had to that has to do with reality, and somehow uh, two women got involved. I'm not sure. I, I haven't read the comic book to be honest with you, so I'm not sure how the two women got involved with the uh, <laughs> me. So uh, I guess. Well, we had to sell these comics, so we had to put some some women in the cage there with you. Uh, hopefully, that's okay. Yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> now, President Tarvin. Thank you, Daddy. The boss. Yeah. Now, what what? What just made you, you think, okay, I'm going to be the president? Well, I mean, to be honest with you, I always wanted to be the president anyway. Okay. That was, I mean, that was kind of my, my little fantasy. Mm hmm And so if I cannot be the real president in real life, might as well just make myself one. Just make myself one. <laughs> okay. And I have a question about your story, and a lot of people have asked me this. There, there's a, at one point, you have a death ray. I don't know if you've read the comic yet or not, but you have a death ray that shoots criminals oh, to, yeah. to another planet. To another planet, yeah, they're gone. In which they can live for three hours. Mm -hmm. And they die. Yeah, and they die. Oh, yeah. And how do you feel that would be taken in, in like, by, you know, maybe Newsweek or Time? How do you think they would feel about such a thing? I know, they're like, what? <laughs> uh, well, I <laughs> hope, they hope they won't take it, like, too seriously. They would not take it too seriously? I hope not. <laughs> yeah. Because some presidents could get in trouble for that sort of thing, but <laughs> no, hey, but it's okay. Well, actually, I mean, if they if they have like an open mind and they have 
Like, if they have an open mind, they may not, they're not going to take it as seriously. <laughs> Boy, I'm in trouble. Vinny Mac. Hello. Yeah. How's it going? I'm doing great. Thanks. Now, Vince, Vince sent an email out. The, the kids at Whitney High played uh, our grand opening at an, another undisclosed location. Yeah. Was this Jeffrey's Comic? No, it was, the, it was another place. That, it was another comic no, shop no. a couple miles down the road um, <laughs> that we can't talk about on this show. But mm -hmm. uh, the next morning, uh, I think Vince sent an email and said, the only thing that would be cooler than last night's gig uh, is if we did a comic book. And, and here we are. It's done. We, we've... We've oh, done it, uh, and it's it's here. And what do you think? I think we're we're coming full circle here just by getting to this point. But I think we have to keep the circle going in the other way. Go oh, oh, turn Maybe it. Around. More of like a spiral uh, helix. Uh, that's that's my vision. Helix. And guess which band member's on acid. <laughs> <laughs> Is this being sold Am I Diamond? Spirals? It might be. It might be. We haven't, tried haven't yet. done it yet. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Now, next up, I guess we're going to have a tour with the kids of Whitney High, a uh, promotional tour for the comic book and and for you know the, their new album, live album. And very soon, uh, you'll be able to buy the comic online, things like that. So keep. At and the Kids of Whitney High website? Or? Yeah, there'll be a link to where you can get it. And, and a lot of people have been asking. Yeah. The only place in South Bay be Jeffries and the Comic Bug, right? They don't have it? Yeah. Is Jeffrey's going to have it too? Absolutely. Oh, baby. Oh, that works for us. Deals. Cool. Yeah. I get a high five. <laughs> cool. Um, cool. Any, anything else? We tried to use the actual words that the, uh, the kids had to use. You know, we didn't change those or anything like that. That's what makes it so real and special. Yeah. In reading it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Vince, a little bit about the making of this, in case, in case you were wondering. Uh, we we drove was. around <laughs> L.A., all over L.A. We went to Tanisa's house, and oh. I believe there was a mix-up there. And with I guess, a oh, what? With yeah, with yeah. you and Maddie, and, and somebody was waiting <laughs> on one side of the street, and somebody was on the other, and I, I guess there's sometimes those, those no, problems. We, we just couldn't see, um, because she wanted to do something totally different than I wanted to do. Yeah. I want to be the president, and she want to do her own thing. Oh, she was a spider fairy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so. And that's I mean, cool, and, and everybody, and it, it, everybody it got what out, they wanted, I think. It yeah. turned out pretty cool, so. Yeah. Hey. The lucky thing was that. My time, oh. get away. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was lucky. You had yeah. it. Get away. <laughs> so, so everything turned out really good, and I, and I would like to thank all the artists, all the people that have involved in it, including your guys. Oh, Thank oh you guys so too. much. Oh. You died. You guys done a terrific job on the on the on the drawing and stuff like that. Well, if you guys wrote it all and everything, and and Mike's friends drew it, what did Mike do? I don't understand. We don't know. Okay. He supervised. He supervised. Yeah. Okay. okay. I, I put the staples coming, in. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay, we'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Are we done? Oh, we're done. Oh crap! What did Mike do? Wax your ears, boys and girls. Here comes another Kids of Whitney High tune. Right after this break. Look at Eric Estrada chips right there. Let me see. Just like Han Solo. Who would have thought? He looks great. He looks at every bit like when he was on the show. Perfect time. Hey, Punch, when you get a sec, could you get do a bumper for our show to say comic book geeks will be right back? We'll do a TV show. All right, here we go. You ready? Los geeks regresan en momento. Welcome back, the kids of Whitney High. Yeah! It sounds like a sad song, but it's not a sad song. Yeah. It could be. Yeah! Life without the cow. No more milk and cheese. No more New York steak. No more fertilizer. No more barbecues, no more leather shoes, no more butter biscuits, no more Ben and Jerry's. One, two, three. But there is a cow, I see them every day. I see them from the freeway, California. I can't stand my life without the no 
more cottage cheese. No more hamburguesas, cowgirls, or cowboys. No more saying moo. No more cow and chicken. No more frozen yogurt. No more big brown eyes. But there is a cow. I see them every day. I see them from the freeway, California. I can't stand my life without a cow. From a bull. Black Angus. Brown, Swiss, and Jamaican red. Florida Crocker. Michael Monaghan. There is a cow. I see them every day. I see them from the freeway, California. I can't stand my life without the cow. Watch it for those burgers now. I told you not to eat more burgers because there's no more cow. But you didn't listen. Chicken. Yeah. 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 But there is a cow. I see them every day. I see them from the freeway, California. I can't stand my life without the I see them from the freeway, California. I can't stand my life without the cow. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! I'm blown away. I'm blown away by the kids of Whitney High. How about I'll start clapping like it was just over, and then you do something. What did I do? I'll start clapping. Oh, like you're gonna start clapping? Okay, yeah. We'll, we'll edit it in. That was right? just amazing. Okay. That was awesome. I'm not really a professional host. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Can I just warm your heart? It, 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 I want to milk something now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's okay. <laughs> Jeffrey's Comics is located at 15900 Crenshaw in Gardena, directly across from El Camino College. We have over a thousand graphic novels. We have over 500 new comic titles. Our video section contains over 500 rare nostalgic DVDs, classic entertainment for all ages. This is our kids' comic section. We have a large toy selection. This is our statue section. Our older comics are all great investments. We have comic books as cheap as four for a dollar, going up over thousands of dollars. At Jeffrey's, the, 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 the magic never stops. We live comics, we love comics, we are comics. Thanks for sticking around for probably one of the most thrilling and exciting episodes of Comic Book Geeks. We're gonna send you home with this tasty tidbit of Muzak. See you next Good night. Good night. You already are. Oh, my shameless plug. Oh, good work, Tony. I was saying, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>